With natural orifice surgery, what we're doing is we're actually attacking prostate cancer, removing prostate, unlike traditional methods which require an incision or some of the newer methods that use robot assistance, we're actually removing the prostate for cancer without making any incision at all. So we're using a natural orifice such as your mouth, your urethra, and in this case we're using the urethra that you urinate through and that's what we're using as our capsule or our gateway to get into the prostate. So this is a complete paradigm shift because typically in uh, prostate surgery what we've been doing for a long time is making an incision going in and removing the prostate. In the early 80s that was revolutionized uh, in the aspect that we're able to save the nerves and do an anatomic nerve sparing uh, prostatectomy for prostate cancer. We save those nerves to preserve erectile function. Then uh, as surgery progressed we went to laparoscopic methods or doing the same surgery through very small keyhole incisions uh, and then as technology improved we were doing the same surgery using a robot assistance or the da Vinci robot but we were still going through the abdominal cavity to remove the prostate from the bladder and then sewing the prostate back to the bladder. This is a paradigm shift because instead of making any incisions at all we're able to do everything through the urethra just like if you were to go up and get a kidney stone or if you were to remove a bladder tumor, we're able to do it all through the urethra, remove the prostate, and then do the reconstruction aspect of the procedure all through the urethra without making any incisions Basically at all. what we do when we do this is we put in a uh, scope with a uh, camera on it. We use a laser to radically resect the prostate going outside around it so that we get near clear margins. We remove it from the urethra. We also remove it from the bladder and the bladder neck and then we push it into the bladder when we're done. Then we put some special instruments or a second set of instruments in there that allow us to sew the bladder back to the urethra so that we have a watertight anastomosis. So the potential theoretical benefits to this surgery is you're able to remove the prostate for prostate cancer with no incision. Uh, patients can typically go home the next day or even the day of. Uh, they have their catheter in for a shorter amount of time and there's no incisions to recover from. So technically their recovery could be this much This procedure is evolving. It's not good for all types of prostate cancer and that we're looking for certain patients until the technique and the equipment has met all of our standards. So right now it's good for low-grade prostate cancer, small prostate cancer, small prostates, uh, and those are kind of the ideal ones. As the equipment continues to improve for us and we're able to bridge a larger gap without making that decision, because of equipment developments, it will be more generalizable to all prostate cancers. But right now, until we have more data and we've done more patients, it's still an evolving process. Our goal in medicine is to make things as easy as possible on the patient, but holding to our principles of curing disease, and in cancer, it's important. So with something like this, it's very critical that we cure the cancer, number one, preserve the continence mechanism, number two, and preserve the nerves and the neurovascular bundle number three for future erectile function and things like that. So if we can do that in an easier way or a less invasive way on the patient so that their body doesn't have to heal from incisions and all those kind of things and everything's done on the inside, one, they're gonna have a better cosmetic result and two, hopefully they'll have a better functional result and an earlier return to their functional capacity we just don't have the data to know if that's true or not. We think that that's what's going to happen, but we don't In terms know. of the scope insertion, there's not any pain or any discomfort for the patient. They're completely under anesthesia during the entire procedure, so they don't feel anything. And actually, the scope that we use is pretty much the same size as what most catheters that are put into the bladder. So whether you have the notes RP done or a, any other kind of radical prostatectomy done, you're going to have a tube that goes through the penis into the bladder to drain urine. Uh, and the scopes and the instruments that we use are special made so that they're no bigger than those tubes and are staying within that thing to not increase injury or cause a deformity or traction injury or more pain. So it's actually more comfortable. Most procedures that are done through the uh, natural orifice or the urethra are very tolerable to most patients and they almost have little to no pain.